Uh, welcome to a new video. You requested it and here it is. The camera battle Huawei Nova 9 against the Xiaomi 11T. Who has the better camera system? So let's get started. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the camera systems and the specs of those two. The Huawei has one camera sensor more but only depth and uh, macro sensor so not really really an improvement. The Xiaomi however has also a macro sensor here but no depth sensor. We have a 108 megapixel on the um, Xiaomi and we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide. We have a 50 megapixel on the Nova 9 and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. I don't expect too much from the ultra wides but the main camera sensors will be very interesting to test out. So here are the specs on the screen as you can see them and uh, we start off with some footage of the front facing cameras because we have also something on the front here. We have a 32 megapixel shooter on the Nova 9 and a 16 megapixel on the Xiaomi. So let's start with the front facing one. Uh, we start off with the front-facing camera of the Xiaomi 11T and this one has only 16 megapixels and can only record 1080p 30 frames per second, not even 4K, even though it is 16 megapixels. We have a beautiful uh, sun uh, set right now, yeah? maybe it's already set it uh, background. I think it has also HDR here and stabilization should be okay on the Xiaomi. However, I think it has not the best stabilization and this is a real bummer because it's yeah, 1080p 30 only. Not even 60 frames per second here on the front facing camera and then not having good stabilization. That's really, really bad. And now the Huawei Nova 9 with its 32 megapixel sensor and this one can record 4K 30 frames per second and it should have better stabilization as well and of course recording externally as well like always if it's possible um, with them. I'm using my Blink 500C UC uh, right now and my normal Sony microphone so it should work fine as well. And uh, I think colors in HDR look a little bit better, at least on screen. And how stabilization here, 4K30 on the Huawei Nova 9. And now recording with the 108 megapixel main sensor on the back of the Xiaomi 11T. This one can go up to 4K30. I'm recording here with 1080p 60 frames per second because usually I work with a 60 timeline. And I just want to see in this more like sunset situation how this sensor behaves in uh, terms of colors and stabilization as well. So what do you think about this uh, main sensor? Sadly I cannot zoom out to the ultra wide angle because the ultra wide angle only supports 30 frames per second and 1080p. So let's switch to the ultra wide. So this is now the ultra wide angle on the Xiaomi 11T 1080p 30 frames per second. It doesn't support 60 frames per second and it doesn't support 4K which is also a bummer I would say for this price region where it started was 500 euros. Now it's like in this 300 to 400 euros category where I think it is okay still but 1080p 60 at least this Xiaomi come on give us 1080p 60. The sensor should be capable to of doing this. So and now recording with the Huawei Nova 9 and its 50 megapixel main camera here. Uh, how's the background blur? How is the stabilization on this one? This is 1080p 60 frames per second and for some odd reason even Huawei decided not to support uh, 1080p 60 frames per second on the ultra wide angle though the ultra wide angle supports 4k 30 which is quite good but wait a second 8 megapixel 4k how does stabilization work? Uh, basically uh, this recording in 6 megapixels so 6k and then upscaling to 8k oh, and it's recording in 3k 3 3.5k and upscaling to 4k so 6 megapixels it is recording in and then upscaling it to the full uh, 8 megapixels for the video format so let's try this out as well so now the ultra wide angle on the Huawei Nova 9. What do you think? Is it good in terms of quality? I think it is like hmm, in this darker conditions it's the quality is just like degrading very very strongly and it's not the best ultra wide angle here on the Huawei Nova 9 and not for photos and especially not also for videos. Um, but what do you think about it? The cool thing about this one is I can simply switch lenses. So from the ultra wide angle I can switch to the normal one. I can show you this. 
So I'm on the ultra wide angle right now and I can see on the other side of the Rhine. I can just zoom in and it will switch lenses here. You saw it drastically. And I can zoom even now cropping in the main sensor and you can see up to six times I can zoom in. It's not the best quality, but at least I have the possibility to zoom, zoom in and zoom out even back to the ultra wide angle if I want to. So this is the Huawei Nova 9. To keep it fair and square, the Xiaomi 11T also has a zooming function. I'm recording 1080p 30, just like on the Nova 9. And I can zoom in here slightly as well. I mean, two times now, three times, four times, five times, and also maximum six times. And it looks a little bit like an oil painting on my screen, I have to say. And if I zoom out, I can only zoom out to the one time. I cannot zoom it out to the ultra wide angle. Here are the photos. The Xiaomi 11T always on the left and the Nova 9 always on the right. What we can see on first glance is different HDR and color or white balance. So you can see it's a lot more duller on the 11T and a bit more livelier on the Nova 9. Uh, simply because the Nova 9 is, yeah, first of all has better HDR as you can see here. Clearly this is overexposed. This is still exposing nicely and you can see the sun going down here. So sun setting. And also what I see here is like a little bit of more yeah, clearness, a little bit more sharpness on the Nova 9. Granted it's a bit of fake sharpening as well applied, but this boat or ship still looks a lot sharper than on the 11T. In general here you can see it's getting soft here as well, soft. but yeah, the Nova 9 looks pleasant to the eyes. It's a bit brighter here as well and you can see more details clearly on the uh, Nova 9 which is pretty nice. When we go to the ultra wide angle we have pretty much the same. So we have a brighter picture on the Nova 9. We have better dynamic range as you clearly can see here uh, where the 11T has the issue with overexposing. Uh, when it comes to details, the same. Look at the waves here. Looks sharpened up on the Nova 9. It looks a little bit better here. When it comes to details here, again, it is it's more details. It is well, maybe not really sharper, maybe a little bit sharper, but it has more de details on the Nova 9, which is interesting. So these are low light shots. When we take a look at the zoom shots, we have pretty much the same thing. Both crop into the main sensor, so not much of a difference. But when it comes to like going into 100%, you can see clearly that it's a lot blurry on the 11T and a lot sharper on the Nova 9. But still, the Nova 9 both are not good, doing a good job here. And when we take a look at this shot here again, the color differences that you can see. So the Nova 9 has a eye that automatically thinks, okay, the water has to be blue, so it is blue. And here for the 11T, it's kind of grayish green mess. When it comes to this rail here, you can see that I think the 11T with its not so sharp picture got a better shot. I think the Nova 9 was focusing here instead of there and tried to use AI to sharpen the rest here. When you take a look at the background here, you can also clearly see that the 11T has it sharp and the Nova 9 did not. So clearly the autofocus point of the Nova 9 was uh, focusing on something near instead of something far. But this is what you can see here when we take a look at zoom shots at the night. There's no comparison at all. You can directly see the 11T is uh, yeah, way better than the Nova 9. You can clearly see here that's the AXA building of uh, Cologne. And here it's a blue mess. You cannot read anything. Uh, it's sharper. It's more details. It's better. Uh, even though, as you can see here, even though the colors look a little bit more pleasant on the 11T here in this case, even though the water is still, uh, you can see the difference here. And then 10 times zoom, uh, no, both look bad when you zoom in, but the Nova 9 has no chance against the 11T when it comes to zoom shots. Night photography shots. So this, these are like, well, the sun was setting already, was set already, I wasn't seeing the sun besides like some clouds and some red and yellow there in the background. So I use the night mode on both and here you can see again the clear difference, more dynamic range on the Nova 9. It's brightening up the shadows a little bit where the 11T is like darkening the shadows a bit or has more contrast to it. You can see here the details in the background clearly more details in the sky than uh, on the 11T here. 
Uh, 11T is more sharp here, the Nova 9 is more soft, a bit more soft, but this is okay, I would say. And I would say, when I go here to the 11T, oh, it looks so over sharpened. <laughs> Probably it was so soft the shot that it was sharpening applied heavily and uh, it doesn't look good. When it comes to the lamps here, both did a good and great job with the main, lens, uh, the main sensor here and also the colors are nice and uh, yeah, overall I think yeah, the 11T is over sharpening, overdoing it, the Nova 9 is not over sharpening, doesn't have so much details to be honest, uh, but uh, yeah what do you like more? I really have to say I don't like the 11T because it's over sharpened. The Nova 9 is okay and the colors is, are okay. I don't like the over sharpening look but you have to decide what you like more. The Nova 9 looks more natural to me even though it's a bit unnatural in terms of high dynamic range. Then ultra wide angle shot. Interestingly enough the Nova 9 doesn't support ultra wide angle night mode. The 11T does. So the 11T has its night mode activated. The Nova 9 does not. But you see clearly that the Nova 9 has uh, the brighter shot again here. Look at the uh, pavement here. Look at the uh, stones here at the side. It is brighter and also HDR is better as you can see here though it failed with the rest of the lamps where everything looks white instead of yeah, like yellowish like it should be like on the 11t so the 11t has better colors here high dynamic range again let's go here and you can see clearly the number nine has more high dynamic range even though it's softer probably because it did not yeah have uh, all the stitching of those um, three or four shots that the 11t did uh, but also in general it doesn't have heavily um, yeah, sharpening applied here as the 11T does. Uh, let's take a look at uh, close-up shots. Uh, this is an interesting shot because I shot this with the Pro mode on both. The interesting part here is that the Nova 9, if you go into Pro mode, doesn't apply this heavily processed image. It tries to make a more natural image, which I really prefer that you have the option to get a more natural image. 11T you will see it in a sec, there's not much of a difference. Close-up shots, let's take a look at the sharpness here and at the detail level I think it's pretty cool and the Nova 9 slightly different angle but I think there's a tad bit of more sharpness on the Nova 9 here on this shot even though you can see that the bokeh is more pleasant on the 11T and we have a little bit of noise already in the background on the Nova 9 but it looks more natural. It's also the colors here, the flower, it's like yeah, super super natural. I like this kind of way. Reminds me a bit of the Sony way of uh, rendering colors which is pretty cool and awesome. But when we go to the automatic mode you can see the automatic mode is almost the same on the Nova 9 as the one Pro mode on the 11T. Let's go from the 11T uh, Pro mode to the automatic mode. Did you notice any difference between this and this? Yeah, the angle is slightly different but, different, but it's the same heavy processing in the Pro mode on the 11T. So both now in uh, in its automatic mode and here I would say even a look closely it's, it's a bit closer up on the 11T as well maybe a bit more details there and a bit softer here on the Nova 9 but it's yeah it is processed and you can see it clearly both have nailed the color I would say and uh, sharpness yeah sharpness level bokeh uh, let's take a look at the bokeh it's identical there's a little bit less of you can see contrast look here's a bit more contrast in the background but the bokeh is wonderful let's take a look at shots in daylight to see how the different cameras behave what we can see here clearly again is a bit more definition in the clouds on the nova 9 if i zoom in you can clearly see there's a bit softer and a bit more definition here on the nova 9 but when we go in for example here this wall and take a look at the wall here you can see clearly sharper on the 11T now we know that the 11T is, has more sharpening applied this does not so much disturb in daylight because you don't see uh, so much of, of a problem there uh, and the Nova 9 has a bit more softer image as you can see here clearly that's sharpening going on and it on the one time on the main lens it, it looks okay it looks a little better sharper on the 11t i would say even though it is sharpening applied that we know um, it looks better uh, in terms of sharpness but 
dynamic range is a bit better on the Nova 9 though you have to pixel peep to notice the difference so the 11T does make uh, a better job or yeah it's a, just simply has a better job here then here um, notice that there is the same color there's a color difference as well between those you can see it's a bit more bluish here on the 11t a bit warmer on the nova 9 the nova 9 however in terms of colors is mm, forget it it's like not the best in terms of colors though the definition here in the sky again is a little bit clearer on the nova 9 a bit more dynamic range when we take a look at the sharpness levels, hmm, interestingly enough, I don't see much of a problem here or difference. Though when it comes to colors, I told you already that the Nova 9 has this problem that I always think it's not its not muted. I always think the Nova 9 has a monochrome color where someone is painting color into it. It's a monochrome lens where someone is painting color into it. It's super bad in terms of colors and you can see it here clearly. Yes, it is this orange. Uh, like the 11t is doing it maybe 11t is doing it overdoing it but it's so muted on the nova 9 that it's like ridiculous and the color here of the sky is okay but you can see here the fringing the blue of the sky is like going into this which is clearly a bit more like this color here on the 11t so color wise yeah the 11t wins here and sharpness wise i think they're on par it's not much of a difference both both eight megapixel shooters but the nova 9 clearly needs an update for this ultra wide angle because the colors are ridiculous i'm not sure what's going on there zoom shot comparison on first glance again more definition here but this is typical because of the crop shot um looks okay the 11t a little bit sharper again when we zoom in we can see oh a lot sharper on the 11t but Look at this window it's so much sharpening applied on the 11t that is looking unnatural it looks more natural on the nova 9 though it's also sharpening applied and it's a bit softer on the nova 9 definitely you can see a little bit maybe more details on the 11t but it's uh, night and it's not the night and day difference also here when i have the 10 times uh, zoom which is also a crop of course the 11t with all its sharpening applied looks sharper and better if you don't zoom in if i zoom in you can see ooh. and if i zoom in here oof blurry mess so yes the 11t has a better zoom lens i would say because this heavy sharpening that it applies helps the 108 megapixel probably also has a bit more information to play around with that otherwise it wouldn't look bad uh, so in general i think nighttime the nova 9 wins high dynamic range nova 9 wins main shots almost equal there's more sharpening applied you get sharper pictures with the 11t you get more natural pictures with the nova 9 even though the hdr makes it a bit more unnatural uh, but from in terms of sharpness and yeah this is basically it um, uh, nighttime ultra wide angles uh, 11t clearly better one in terms of colors in terms of sharpness they're equally good and zoom 11t wins hands down so yeah that's it in terms of photography so which one of those two phones is the clear winner in terms of the cameras i think there's not a real clear winner in all categories but the nova 9 i think has the better main camera especially in the dark but the xiaomi 11t has the better zoom camera even if it's just a crop on the main sensor the ultra wide angles are bad both maybe the xiaomi has an edge here slightly though the huawei is better in terms of stabilization but photos are better definitely on the xiaomi what do you think write it down in the comment section uh, that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye, bye.